Twelve five, Ryan. Oh, ho, ho. Biggest catfish ever. Look at the belly. Look at that. That is a fantastic. Well, we might be doing something stupid today. We got snow. It's thirty-five degrees. We got the boat hooked up. This is in Fisherman's Lake X Factor, and we're gonna go catch some snow cats. <laughs> All right, so we put the bass boat on the river. The snow is still spitting, and uh, we're gonna go try to catch some catfish. A couple weeks ago, we had in Fisherman Managing Editor Rob Newman and Doug Stangy down here, had a great time, and they told me as it gets colder later into the season, more fish congregate into that area, and it's just like fish in a barrel, literally. So. We got, a, we got a couple big suckers that were once musky suckers, uh, but now they're gonna be catfish bait. And uh, we're gonna run about a quarter mile, half mile up the river here, put the uh, Ultrex down, spot lock, and we're gonna wait. But what I'll tell you I do love, check this out. <laughs> There's Lake Master mapping on the, this part of the river here, um, and it's easy to navigate. I'm a little nervous, and you gotta be careful. You know, I'm not much of a river rat, so. We're gonna take our time, but it is deep enough you could run on plane. And we had we had the uh, InFish TV boat out here, so it's pretty big, deep V. So anyway, we're gonna get up there, put some meat on, see what we can scare up. All right, we're here, it's cold, the water's moving. It's a perfect day for some winter catfish. If you got a nice bass boat or any kind of boat you don't wanna get dirty, bring yourself a two by six or something like that. We've got some big meat we're about to use. This is a sucker that I had stored for muskies unfortunately he didn't make it just kind of fillet a chunk off I'm just using circle hooks right in the corner get through the scales and make sure you leave that hook point exposed I mean you're, you're gonna get snagged up that's a part of life as Rob showed us last week you can see the video about how he rigs his slip sinker rig. I got the link posted right up here. You want a little bit lighter leader so you break that off as opposed to losing the whole thing. So let's get to it. Maybe 30 seconds. <laughs> These fish have so much power. Big one? Feels pretty good. <clears throat> it's coming in here. <clears throat> Here it comes. Oh. <laughs> How about that? We got one. <laughs> yes. That was super easy. Just chucked it out on the seam, let it sink, barely hit the bottom. The fish took off with it. That was awesome. Hopefully we get about two dozen more of these. See you later. <laughs> not even close to this down.
here's one. Oh yeah. Oh. Let me switch spots with you. This one's angry. It feels good. Mm. Yeah. Feels good. <laughs> Fish on finally, and I say, huh? Fish number two. Well, I say finally, but it's been five minutes. I'll net this one, Ryan. Oh yeah, bulldog. It's cold. It's been snowing all day. Want to go catch some big catfish? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that. That's a nice. Nice and easy. Ryan, this is, this is a good one here. a day when you maybe ought to stay home enjoy the fire Ryan was almost hooked up <laughs> I don't know how much that one weighs I think we're gonna get a weight on this one we just caught my fish a second ago I mean it's been a couple minutes I set the hook holding the camera I'm thinking I lost him but he's still on there he's a little guy Barely. You know, I'll tell you something, Ryan. These are good to eat. This is the perfect eating size. Two pounder. bad, doesn't feel real big. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. I think they can. Now that's a good eater. That's probably a four pounder. There's a good fillet on that. And when they're in cold water like this, that flesh is firm. They batter up real nice. I'm drooling thinking about it. I got to show you something pretty cool here. Put him back. So I think that being in the right place when you're fishing for these cats this time of year is critical. We've made a couple loops. We came back to where we started and the fish was there right away. One of the most important tools I've got with me today is the iPilot link. I've got a Minn Kota Altrex on the front of the boat here. I've got it linked with my Helix 10s. There's a Helix 12 on the, on the front. But I'm able to drive the boat from right here, put it in spot lock. I don't have an anchor on this boat. I got talons, but not a rope anchor. I can drive this whole boat do all the rearranging, pull snags out, everything from being low in the boat. Now we're, we're in pretty calm water, but you go 40 yards that way, it's really rolling and it's cold. You don't want to fall in. We're wearing life jackets, we're being safe. But the important thing is, is I can do all that without having to run back and forth. We're wearing ice fishing gear, okay? We're, we're bound up like the Michelin man, but we're comfortable and we're able to run the boat without having to do a whole lot of extra work. It's pretty important staying on the spot 
going to catch him once you find him. Play him out, huh? Tug is the drug. <laughs> Ooh, this is a, a big one. This is a good one. I don't know, I say that about all of them, so we'll see what it really is. And it's not, it's doing what catfish do and they go back to the bottom. This one is, uh, so we got a nine pounder in the boat. Oh wow, look at that. Oh thing. yeah, buddy. <laughs> That's a good one. I like when they're big and dark like that. Oh yes, Ryan, <laughs> Ryan. Oh yes, sir. Oh buddy. Woohoo! That's a good one. I barely fit in that. Oh, dude, that's got to be. <laughs> dude, that's a tank. Look at that. I love the river. What can you say? And it's snowing and cold today. It's, it's brutal. We've been musky fishing for years, and this is just easy. It's what you grow up doing. It's fun. Just can't beat it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that thing, just fat. I'm going to wait on her before we're done. Oh my gosh. And these circle hooks are money. Although it would be helpful if they came out. There we go. It's mid-October. Cold water, cold catfish. Big old shoulders on that girl. Look at the whiskers. <laughs> I love me some whiskers. 12.5, Ryan. Oh, oh, oh. Biggest catfish ever. Uh, channel cat. Look at the belly. Look at that. That is a fantastic fish. <laughs> Got a lot of catfish as a kid, but this is my biggest channel cat I've ever caught at 12.5. That was a lot of fun. I'm gonna let her go. <sighs> See you later. Ryan's hooked up again, and I think I'm gonna have to make some spots in my basement for him to live. <laughs> this is a workout. I gotta take a layer off here. You're netting this one on your own, bud. That's right. no, not, not a 12 pounder. Probably a small one like those nine that you've been catching. Well, no. He's no slouch. No, no ding. Oh, look at that. That's a cool one. Ready. Huh. Go back here.
Real big? Yeah. Ryan back on top with a big one. <laughs> I thought it was a snag. I'm going to start moving. Well, he said he wanted a 15 pounder. Then we can go. Yeah, then we can go home. I don't think this is it, though. I don't know, though. It's rip and drag out. Oh, dude. Might be a pretty big one, huh? <laughs> Where's it going? Come back here. I want to be able to see this thing. Don't lose it. Oh, yes. Look at that big old meathead. Yes, sir. I didn't even feel this fish down there. I was actually reeling it in. I was going to put it back out. And so I don't know if it's sitting down there with it in its mouth or what. But. You know, it would be smart of us bringing the pliers up here. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Quite as big as yours. This has been non stop action. I tell you what, don't overlook catfish in the winter. It's been spitting snow. That mist coming off that rocky water is cold, but the catfish is hot. I built my passion for fishing catching these suckers. And to get back to that, it's just cool. It's about ready to ride. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that big old black one. Got it. Listen, the tackle's simple, the bait is simple. Every single time, look at this. Oh, that thing's fat. Right in the corner of the mouth like that. Look at the head and the structure. I love when they get that dimple on top, just like that. It's just good fun. We almost sat in front of the fire all day because it was cold and it's chilly, but we were able to get the boat out here. All we're using is cut sucker. We're using two ounces of weight and a circle hook and a medium rod. It's a battle you're not going to hate, I promise you. Take advantage of the winter catfish and be worth the time. Let's get a weight on this. about nine pounds not quite as big as Ryan's but you know what I don't care it's a lot of fun we're gonna put her back let's do that again 